here is some of my nail supplies that we'll be going over today. First up is this little set of rhinestones. We're not counting that one, I just need it for later. But this little collection with two pots of glue and three different types of sequins. It was about $15. This is my rhinestone picker. It was about, oops, sticky. It was about seven. Our base and top coat were about 10 as a set. Here is my collection of gel polishes. This came as a set and I believe it was about $6 for the whole thing. Then we have Beatles nail polish, a black and a white. I'm going to say a lot of my stuff is Beatles and I really like the brand. I think it's a good price brand. I'm going to say this was also about $6. This is the nail glue. It came with this little single light. It is a must for this glue. You do one nail at a time. I had a set of these. I wish I could link it, but it no longer exists. And these nail tips came with a light. Here are two other sets. These are my square ones. These are my almond ones. I'm going to explain how to put the glue on and have it hold, but if you're going to do it sloppy, these square tips that have, that have this little fuzzy section, they hold a lot better even if you have a sloppy apple. And this is my full size lamp. It came with a poly gel set, so I will not be linking that because I'm not reviewing it. But just in case you want to know the band, it is Sun UV. You might hear my cat in the background. She is super upset at me for still being up. The key to applying this glue, the Beatles glue, Beatles glue, is you absolutely cannot get your hands wet for as long as possible. So I'm going to try and not wash my hands for the next 12 hours. That's how long we are talking. If you manage to not get your water on your hands at all, these will last. But if you do end up washing your hands within the next few hours, you can expect one or two nails to pop off with light use, but the majority will hold on so long as it's not your like dominant nails. As a part of not washing my hands, I'm trying not to drink water and man, do I not sound great. Deal with it. I'm sorry. But these if you do not apply it absolutely properly, will pop off super fast. But I have also had these nails last about two and a half weeks before I had issues. These ones, I'm linking everyone below because you can't see a brand name on this, but these that have that little section on them and square is a great shape for me. I've had them last really well, even with the bad application. But tonight, we're gonna use the one that came with the kit. To prep my nails, I just put on a sunblock and then I go over it with an acetone to remove any excess oils, especially given the sunblock. I know you can use a nail dehydrator. I don't know if it's actually worth it considering the acetone does remove a good amount of stuff. Someday when I have more money, I will try it out, but for now, acetone it is. First step, base coat. We're gonna paint all our nails and then cure it for 30 seconds. I got this to use with poly gel, but I find it works just fine as a base coat for this UV glue. The only big problem with this set is obviously you're gonna run through the top coat way faster than the base coat. And I don't 
I haven't checked what the individual prices are or whether it's worth just buying the kit and running out of one faster than the other. It'll be in my notes below, if I remember. Hopefully. This lamp has 60 seconds, 30 seconds, and 10 seconds as settings. For the most part, I don't have a problem with heat spike unless I've been doing my nails a lot, in which case they're a little bit thinner, and it's only with the base coat that I really have that problem. The thing about this glue is you have literally one second under the light to get it right or it's going to be a mess. So you have to have it perfectly aligned going in. I also will say, being on camera makes you stupid, especially when it is almost midnight. And I should have sized my nail tips before I put on the base coat. I did not, however. Now there's little itty bitty cat hairs everywhere. Do as I say, not as I do, as mom always said. So I'm gonna press down as much as I can, get air bubbles out, and then just put it under the light. Even though it will be hard in literally one second, hold it longer than that. And our first one is done. I will say too, I showed you the nail tips I have. The square tips have the best size out of any of them. I will say too, I am roasting. It was 98 degrees and my filming room has the AC. So in order for y'all to hear me somewhat decently, I have to turn it off. And even though it's almost midnight, it is still like 80 outside and it is so hot under these studio lights. Next up, you're gonna just file the tips a little bit. There is a tiny bit of plastic from where they were molded. I always hate doing the thumb because you can see that giant air bubble in it and I can never get it right. Not with this set. Good news is I don't have a lot of trouble with the thumbs popping up. It's always these two fingers on this hand and maybe this one. For the most part, the rest stay on pretty good, which makes sense for how I use my hands. Also, these don't fit as great as I would like them to. They're pretty though. If I didn't have to use my hands all the time, I would have longer nails like this all the time. This is my uh, last little big hurrah before I go back to work. We've been a little bit slow lately, so I have more time off than normal, which is the perfect time to indulge a bit. Yeah, I don't know how some of the girls at work do it. One, who has $120 to go to a nail salon? Especially with kids. You're paying 120 bucks and your kids are gonna snap this shit off. Bless. Do what makes you happy. You have one life, but uh, my butt's gonna be cheap and hopefully you're here to be cheap with me. Plus, I like to think I'm talented and can do it myself. And in some ways, that is true. Oh, and before I do this nail, the one downside of this glue and nail system, oh, get in frame, hon, get in frame, is it causes a little bit of waviness around your, um, like where the, what is it, the nail tip comes away from the skin. I don't know if it's glue, I did see one review that said that they had the same problem and maybe it's just the nail tips that are putting pressure on where the nail is attached to the skin or maybe it is the glue itself. I don't know. That one's a smidge crooked, but I'm going to leave it. I always have trouble with the middle nail and this nail being a little bit off. I think it's the shape of my hand. I'm gonna just take care of this. I don't know fully what I am doing with my nails. I do know I plan on doing a black base, some red to my tips, and some red gemstones. So we'll see what crazy concoctions I can make. This is one coat. It definitely needs a second. I have a vague plan of what I am going to do. I randomly picked red, thought about green. 
I'm looking forward to Halloween, so I'm leaning towards that kind of direction with my nails. And I love chrome powders so much, but I don't like doing my full nail in a chrome powder, so I'm just going to do the tips. And I'm only going to do one hand at a time because I am out of top coat. These rhinestone glues can be used as a top coat. So what I'm going to do is just cover my nail and put the rhinestones on so it's top coating it and gluing it at the same time. Let's be lazy about it. happy with the design. Just a little bit simple with the color scheme, but nice impact with the gym. And there is no good way to see that shine in this camera. It will not focus that close. Oops. Oh well, what can you do? I'm enjoying it, but it's almost 1am and filming takes forever. Plus, this little rhinestone glue takes three minutes under the lamp. Insanity. I don't want to. But let me finish my other hand and I will see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Prices will be linked below and anything that I can provide an original link to, I will. And I will throw in a few things that might pique your interest. Okay, bye.